Welcome to WISIS Forum 2022 here in Geneva. And with me is Ali Al Ajami, the Director of Digital Health at the UAE. Welcome. Mm. And congratulations. You've picked up an award in the eHealth uh, category, a WISIS Forum um, prize. Tell me about the, the project that's received recognition. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, we were being awarded for the C7 uh, eHealth. It was a project that we initiated in the uh, Ministry of Health and Prevention, United Arab Emirates, in order to uh, gather or give uh, a platform that will help the patient to uh, record, uh, to have the access to their medical record, book an appointment, and also to take care of their uh, own services and health based on the data that they are, has been saved within the platform itself. So it's a huge initiative that has been uh, worked within the Ministry of Health and collaboratively with other entities to make sure that the citizens uh, can have their own access to the medical record, making sure the social distancing prior to the uh, COVID situation. And it was really, uh, it got the high adoption from the patients and they started to use the system uh, in order to have a safe, safely life. So you, did you have the system in place before uh, the COVID uh, pandemic? No, uh, basically, well, uh, before the COVID, uh, we had like smaller, uh, I would say, platforms. However, the adoption wasn't that high. However, we changed the, the customer scenario where we engaged labs and we engaged uh, patients to try the patient portal. Mm -hmm. And immediately uh, we changed the whole mechanism to have a new platform that have the consent where the patient can access the platform and they access their own medical record and they can choose which doctor or physician that they can they want to book an appointment, similar to what they are uh, booking like a room in a hotel or something like that, mm -hmm. but immediately through a doctor and booking their appointment. It was uh, uh, a journey. And uh, we, once we change that uh, mechanism, the adoption rate has increased and uh, basically it won the prize of the C7 and eHealth. So this is really empowering people to, to a certain extent, be able to take control of their, of their own health. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, one thing is that we, we knew that the gadgets are coming, I would say the Fitbit or the weight scale. Or, so uh, in order to make sure that the social distancing is happening, we enabled that categories. And we have uh, a law uh, that is enabling the uh, the leverage of the health ICT law. Uh, it's leveraging the technology to uh, allow the technology partners to uh, and the patients to wear the gadgets, we call it, mm. and take care of their own citizens. It's using the disruptive technologies like the IOTs and uh, they can they have their own devices. Uh, so simply we are creating a platform that is patient centric according to their needs, according to their own data, empowering them to take care of their own self and uh, to change their own lifestyle. It's a really powerful example of how technology is, is just transforming healthcare. Ali Al-Jamami, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you.